Hello everyone, welcome to teacherite.me. Today in this video we will be discussing about the oriferance. Okay. So today we will be covering the type study of Skypha or Sion. Okay. You can see this. It is also called a sponge. You may have heard about this term sponge. This Skypha is also called as sponge this is the entire this this is the one two and three okay and this is attached to a substratum below okay so in this lecture we will be covering the habits and habitat of the skypha the general characters which includes size and shape color dermal layers pores physiology and development the fourth and fifth these two will be discussing in the upcoming video okay okay let's begin first we'll be learning about the habit and habitat so what is the habit as we know it is marine in the previous video if you haven't watched the first video of porifera i'll be giving the link i will be giving you the link in the description you please go there and you can watch it okay so sion is a small marine calcareous sponge so what is the habit it is a marine okay it is a marine individual so it's not individual it is just marine and it lives in the colonies okay it, it is marine and colonial okay and it is attached to the rocks shells and stiff things it is attached see this is the substratum okay it is the substratum and this complete is the sponge so it is sedentary in form okay it is sedentary first of all it's marine it's not formed in the fresh water we don't find skypha in the fresh water you can say it's skypha or sponge okay they are one and the same it lives in colonies it does not you don't see like this only one you will see like this okay and it the these all will be attached to one substratum like here okay so whatever so it is sedentary in form that is it does not moves from one place to other if just if it's if the, the larva the larva of the skypha is motile okay the larva is motile when the larva finds a substratum after some first of all the larva swims for hours in the sea and as it finds a substratum below the sea it will attach itself and develop into a adult skypha okay the larva is motile but this one is the adult one is immotile okay so they live in the shallow marine water where there is plenty of food and oxygen see if we need food we have to walk okay if you need food you have to walk if you need food you have to struggle but this kaifa finds such a place where it gets plenty of food by sitting okay where it gets plenty of food okay the place where it sits suppose this is a place it want to sit and here it will be having a plenty of food okay this hence this place the skypha will choose to inhabit okay so generally the color of the skypha is generally color of the sky is brown color and gray color okay so you please don't consider this color it's just for visual things okay so the general color of sky is brown and gray mostly they are found in these colors so let's talk about the external characters let's go into deep we'll be seeing the dermal pores and dermal layer okay in the dermal pores we'll be seeing two pores 
as we know that it is a peripheron it is a peripheron we have completed the size and shape right and we have also completed its color now let's begin the dermal layers and dermal pores okay so the dermal pores as we know porifera in the last lecture i have said you that porifera are the animals which builds pores in the whole body they have pores okay so they have two types of pores one is ostia and the other is osculum ostia ostia is a pore which helps in the intake of water intake of surrounding water surrounding water it is the function of ostia that is it takes the water water from surrounding enters into ostia okay so from the ostia it enters the empty space that is spongiosine in the last video only have said you spongio seal from the spongio seal it exit through osculum osculum is a exit pore okay so there are two pores the one is ostia and the other is osculum ostia is useful for taking the water in it draws the water in and it moves the water out okay so they are microscopic pores called ostia these are microscopic we can't see it with the naked eye so they are microscopic and they are called as ostia these pores open into spongio seal okay it is an empty cavity the entire surface is rough because of presence of spicules yes in the earlier video only we have told that the complete body is rough because they have spicules around them spicules means thorns like structure which help helps in defense if any fish or something comes nearby it and it wants to eat this if any fish comes nearby it and it want to eats it it can't eat it because it is having what what it is having it is having thorns for self defense okay so the entire surface is uh, rough because presence of spicules so the water from the spongio seal now the water first enters through ostia ostia leads into spongio seal now the water enters into osculum and it exit into the surrounding water okay this is the pathway i please i recommend you please watch the first video because you are not going to understand anything without watching the lecture number 1 of the porifera okay so please watch that video then you begin this video so now uh, we have completed the dermal pores there are just two pores and we are discussing about the dermal layers okay so the cion body the sponge body is diploblastic diploblastic diplo di means two okay blastic means germinal layers they have two germinal layers they are two layers the layer how many dermal layers they have they have two layers first one is the dermal layer or epidermis and the inner layer is the gastric layer okay is that clear first is the dermal and the next is and the later is the gast gastric so this is the overview of the scypha you can see here small thorns are seen here okay and these pores are called as ostia okay so these are the spicules thorns or spicules one and the same here from here the water these pores are called as what these pores are called these pores are called as ostia and from here here osculum oscula fringe or osculum from here the water exit and what is spongio seal the cavity here 
this cavity inside there is a cavity suppose it's looking like like this water entered through a pore and inside this it is just 3d imagination if you imagine it will be clear inside the body will be having a cavity called spongocele assume that we this is our skin and we have pores inside the skin what we have bones is it not the same here bones refers to this cavity okay it is called as spongocele okay now we'll talk about the dermal layers we know that there are two dermal layers ectoderm and endoderm ectoderm and endoderm the uh, the function of the first dermal layer is the ectoderm this dermal layer we we are talking now about this dermal layer okay so the dermal layer it is also called as ectoderm or epidermis okay this one this lines the outer surface okay it lines what it lines the outer surface of cion and spongocele the cells are large and polygonal and are called as pinacocytes so the cells of this one this sponge are polygonal okay they are polygonal like this this is the structure of the polygonal cell okay so you can see it is somewhat like this so it is polygonal in shape and the ectoderm has two types of pinacocytes that is this polygonal cells are only called as pinacocytes okay so the ectoderm has two types of pinacocytes the first one is the myocyte and the glandular cell what i mean to say is overall the dermal layer which is also called as the ectoderm or epidermis it is also called as ectoderm and epidermis it lines this this is called as the epidermis it lines the outer layer of the sponge okay the cells which line the outer layer are polygonal in shape the shape of the cell is polygonal and these polygonal shapes are referred to as pinacocytes is that clear okay so the ectoderm has two types of pinacocytes the one is myocyte and the other is gland cell you can just briefly say that ectoderm is differentiated into myocyte and gland cells okay so what is the function of myocyte they are highly muscular muscular means they are highly strong and they helps in the contraction contract uh, contraction and relaxation okay they are present around the sphincter to regulate the opening and closing of the sphincter so this is the oscular fringe they are present around around this means i mean they are present around the pores let's say that they are present around the ostia for the regulation for opening and closing of them okay so it is about myocytes and now discuss about the gland cells gland cells what do the gland gland is helps in full in secretion is it not so they secrete a sticky substance the gland cells these gland cells secrete a sticky sticky substance which helps in the attachment of this kypha to the substratum okay the ectoderm this ectoderm only will secrete the gland cells will secrete the ectoderm will be having a gland cell which will secrete the sticky substance okay which is helpful in attachment this is about the first layer and now let's discuss about the gastral layer which is also called as the second layer gastral means refers to as uh, somewhat like gastric and uh, internal right so it is also called as endoderm okay so it is it lines the radial canals we'll be discussing what are radial canals in further videos
it is the it forms the endodermal layer okay this is the inside layer and it is composed of loose loosely shells and they are large they are packed means they don't have a uh, space between them and they are called as coenocytes as we know that this dermal layer we say the cells of the dermal layer that is the cells of ectoderm ectoderm or which shape they are polygonal in shape and they are called as cells of the ectoderm are called as pinacocytes whereas the cells of endoderm the cells of the endoderm which is also called as the gastric layer are called as coenocytes are called as coenocytes okay so now let's see how a coenocytes look like it is coenocyte this diagram you see here is entire a coenocyte okay so they are flagellated we see a flagella here okay the number one represents flagella i prefer you to take a screenshot of this or note it down in your book okay so this is a flagellated and it is oval in shape is it not see here it is oval oval means somewhat egg like egg like its shape okay so they contains a nucleus it's not it's not b it's n okay nucleus here you see the nucleus number 7 a large nucleus is present and we have food vacuoles okay we do have food vacuoles for storage of food okay a long flagellum is present for locomotion this flagellum is present for locomotion it helps the entire thing to locomote it's not that uh, it is locomoting as it is sedentary it helps in the locomotion of food okay as the food enters it this vibrates so the foods passage downwards okay as this vibrates the food pass downwards so the coenocytes help to draw water inside okay so whatever the dust is present this all it is like uh, just a hair like is you know so it helps to trap them so the cell is also useful in digestion and respiration the function of coenocyte is to draw the water okay for digestion and also for respiration so now let's see the overview of this kypha i prefer you to take a screenshot of this and note it down so this is the substratum the below one is the substratum okay so and this is the osculum from where the water exit and this cavity this cavity is called as the spongocil okay this cavity is called as spongocil and this entire is called one skypha and this is the other skypha okay they live in the colony okay so this is the ectoderm you see this is the ectoderm okay so we also find pinacocytes you see here these all are called as this is the ectoderm and they these cells are polygonal in shaped you see these cells are polygonal in shaped and they are called as pinacocytes okay so from here the water enters ostium it is called as in current pore that is intake of water okay it as it takes the water current inside it is called as in current pore okay and it is called as ex current pore there is osculum okay so and this is the middle space whatever the space is present in the middle it is called as this cavity is called as spongio seal okay so how the water movement is let me clear okay the water enters inside the spongio seal through ostium and from the ostium it enters into the spongio seal from the spongio seal it takes the 
आउट आउट पाथवे बाय ऑस्कुलम फ्रॉम द ऑस्कुलम द वाटर इज डिस्चार्ज इनटू द सराउंडिंग्स सराउंडिंग वाटर और अगेन टू वाटर ओके सो द कैनाल सिस्टम ऑफ सियोन एक्चुअली द कैनाल सिस्टम इज लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज द एंटायर कैनाल सिस्टम ऑफ सियोन सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द एंटायर कैनाल सिस्टम सो how to know which is the dermal uh, epidermal layer and it is the endodermal layer so i have drawn a brief diagram for you how to draw this so first of all you are going to draw it the skeleton okay the skeleton diagram we say then first of all you draw like z shape it in between that you make some gaps okay first of all you are going to draw like this then upon this you just place this coanocytes it is also called as coanocyte it is only called as coanocyte i have shown this in the previous see you see this this is called as coanocyte okay so what you are going to do is you just place these coanocytes like this okay there must be no gaps in between okay just to make it quickly i am doing this but you should not line this space by the coanocyte okay and here also we see coanocytes okay now this is the epidermis this layer this layer is called as the epidermal layer okay or the dermal layer and the this layer this layer this layer is called as epidermal layer okay and this layer is called as gastric layer in the gastric layer in the gastric layer we find gastric cells or coanocytes coanocytes okay i have said you the function of coanocytes that is they helps in the respiration okay so and the cells of this epidermal layer are called as pinacocytes okay is that clear the cells of this gastric layer is called as coanocytes and the cells of epidermal layer are called as pinacocytes okay there are two types of pinacocytes they are myocytes for the muscular activity and we see the gland cells for adherence adherence means to stick to a substance we need a fluid okay we need a sticky fluid so these gland cells produce that sticky fluid okay so we have myocytes and gland cells in the pinacocytes okay so you just arrange these pinacocytes upon this gastric layer you know just gastric layer has these pinacocytes not the epidermal layer this epidermal layer you should not line by the sorry uh, just gastric layer has the coanocytes these coanocytes are present in the gastric layer so here the gastric layer is the gastric layer is the inner layer hence here we find the coanocytes and this one is the dermal layer so this one is also the gastric layer and this is the dermal layer okay you can continue this diagram again and this forms the dermal layer okay like this one uh, one gastric layer then we see dermal layer then we see gastric layer here first one is the gastric 
then dermal then gastric then dermal like this alternative way okay so these coenocytes when you enlarge it looks like this okay is that clear if you have any sort of doubts please let me know in the comment box okay now let's see that what are spicules spicules are present in the mesoderm okay we have epidermis and we also have endodermis and between that we have mesoderm it is called as middle layer okay so the middle layer will be having spicules okay calcium spicules these are made up of calcium the spicules are thorn like okay it is a spicule and this one is also a spicule this one is also a spicule you see this these all are spicules okay so these spicules helps in the defense mechanism i have said you in the previous video also defense mechanism means if any prey if anything attacks this sponge it will helps in the defense okay as you see a rose plant it will be having thorns in between if you touch if you touch if any grazing animals come towards it 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 will help in prevention okay so thorns are helpful in prevention so the overall diagram of this what we say this uh, canal system is like this you see here also uh, if you make it if you see in a complicated manner it will look as complicated only you just see this this layer it is having pinacocytes sorry coenocytes if i make any mistakes please don't consider it harsh because sometimes i forget so these are the coenocytes i have said you that coenocytes are present in which layer are they present in gastric or dermal they are present in the gastric layer so this is called as the gastric layer okay and this one is also called as the gastric layer okay and now this one is the dermal layer okay so now in between this this is the middle middle layer okay this is the middle layer which is called as mesoderm or mesoglia okay in this mesoderm and mesoglia what we find is spicules and some vacuoles food vacuoles and all the rest of things you see and in this from this only the spicules arises okay these are the spicules you see thorns like it's more it's clearly thorn like it is helpful in defense mechanism just what you need to do is just you need to do uh, draw like jet shape okay or two number whatever you see so just arrange the coenocytes on the gastric layer draw the flagellum also for that okay so next to this alternate next to this layer that is alternative layer do this that's it and you will be done with the diagram okay so now what is mesenchyme it is mesenchyme or mesoderm it is present in between the dermal layer and gastric layer okay so the mesenchyme it is present between this is the gastric layer okay let's see it here this is the this is the gastric layer okay and this is the dermal layer okay this entire is the dermal layer and in between this is the mesenchyme okay it is the mesenchyme in the mesenchyme we find we find spicules nothing but spicules okay and we also find some type of cells like this 
you see here ovum is present ovum it is a female reproductive thing so we find ovum here we find amphiblastula that is some larval stages okay we will discuss in the further video so we find here ovum we find food vacuoles and uh, much more things we find so we also find some cells that is amoebocytes okay we find amoebocytes and scleroblast cells see please don't confuse if you have any confusion please let me know in the comment section in the dermal layer that is the first layer in the first layer it is called as dermal layer we find which type of cells we find pinacocytes we find pinacocytes in the pinacocytes we have two types of cells okay we have two types of cells and in the second layer that is called as gastric layer the cells of this layer are called as coanocytes and the middle layer i am not saying it is a third layer it is a middle layer so in this we find the mesenchyme that is the third layer and the cells of these are called as amoebocytes and scleroblast cells we have two types of cells okay in the pinacocytes also we have gland cells and what it is the muscle cells what we call it we call it myocytes and gland cells okay so the middle layer is called as mesenchyme okay so it contains amoebocytes and scleroblast cells so now let's see what is scleroblast scleroblast forms these cells form spicules i have said you earlier that mesenchyme the middle layer has spicules okay so which layer produces the spicules mesenchyme the middle layer okay for the cion for protection for the body okay so they are made up of calcium if they are made up of calcium they are called as calcareous spicules if they are made up of silicon it is called as siliceous spicules okay so there are two types of spicules cal calcareous spicules and siliceous spicules okay so now let's discuss the second category of cells that is amoebocytes we have discussed the scleroblast cells here and we are discussing about the amoebocytes here okay so amoebocytes the name amoeba amoebocytes in the term itself we are had we are hearing the term called amoeba okay it is irregular in shape that is cells are irregular so these amoebocytes are divided into many categories in cion okay they are amoeboid in shape first of all they are many types in the cion the amoebocytes of many types they are chromocytes chromo chromocytes which will give the color to the cion it may be brown color okay or it may be gray color whatever the color is the chromocytes will give the color the function of chromocytes is to give color and the function of theocytes is to store food the function of archaeocytes is to formation of gametes and regeneration process okay and what is the function of myocytes we have said it earlier myocytes they are muscular and trophocytes they are called as nurse cells as they distribute the food and phagocytes they engulf the foreign substances and gland cells they help in sticky fluid secretion okay so we have completed we have completed the four types that is what we say we have completed the habit and habitat we have in the external characters in the external characters what we have completed we have completed the size and shape we have seen the color it is finding two colors that is 
brown and gray color the dermal layers three types of dermal layers okay three types of layers actually first one is dermis that is called as epidermis okay so the cells of the epidermis are called as pinacocytes the pinacocytes are of two types okay the pinacocytes are of two types one is myocyte and the other is gland cells okay this was about the first layer and the middle layer is called as mesenchyme the middle layer i am clearing this the middle layer is called as mesenchyme the mesenchyme consists of two types of cells okay amoeboid cells amoeboblast cells whatever and scleroid cells these secrete what this gives rise to spicules thorns and in the amoebocytes we have many cells like chromocytes thicocytes okay so this was about the mesenchyme and the last one is endo okay gastric layer the last layer is the gastric layer or endodermis it is the inside layer the inner layer is called as endodermis the cells of the end endodermis are called as coanocytes they are called as coanocytes okay so what are the function of coanocytes they give respiration okay the respiration and digestion that's it if you have any sort of questions in your mind please let me know in the comment section okay be free to ask the doubts and we are ending this video here do share this video like comment subscribe whatever maybe so the videos are taking a too long time than general till then you please subscribe please like share with others okay and never never forget to leave a comment below because these comments boost me a lot in making the further videos thank you